for your scintillating satisfaction. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you restrain and repress any urge to applaud until the performance reaches its climax, ladies and gentlemen, and then concludes, then you can clap. The performance, ladies and gentlemen, straight from the Shakespeare Company, <coughs> the holy hand grenade of Antioch. So with no further ado, will you welcome the dynamic, dramatic clerics. <coughs> Knights of the Round Table had travelled in their quest for the Holy Grail. They'd faced many trials, including a number of rather nasty foes, like the evil red cannon of Hereford Cathedral and the foul tempered old lady of the Grange with her pet crocodile, Stan. <laughs> they even had to face the dreadful priest who say, Ooh, this is Henry, and the terrible three headed flying bishop, John Lockhead. But none were so terrifying as the monster that now stands in their way, for he is none other than Bob the Pink Rabbit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, don't be deceived by his cuddly fur or his cute nose. This creature can embarrass the entire army to death. One look in his eyes and he'll hypnotize you and have you performing love songs to old broomsticks and even singing Leonard Cowan songs. <laughs> anyway, let's set the scene good and proper and call upon our two heroes, King Arthur and Sir Bedivere, to face their newest peril. <laughs> Right. 